Welcome back, everyone, to Third Street Reactions. I'm Zach. I'm Shane. We are back with Stranger Things Season 4, Episode 4. <clears throat> You're out last time. Yeah, we had Robin and Nancy team up in the library. The chemistry was kind of weird at first because Robin is a little... She's like me, I think, in relationships. At least how it was when I was younger. I'm like a lot, I think, for people. And then uh, and then I think... I Hopefully, I grow on people. But they were able to solve it. And now I think hopefully they are friends. We'll see what happens because I love Robin. We had Eleven hit someone with a skate. And we had this weird shit with her and her boyfriend. Eleven gets taken off though. And he's she's intercepted by the doctor that the colonel talked to. The, the good doctor. The good doctor. Yeah. Like so me. yeah. So we, we need you. And uh, we, had the jock, uh, we had the jocks going around on a vengeance spree. And we know that, you know, they're wrong. Yeah, they're a... Uh, uh... Dumbass witch hunt, but because they're young kids. Yeah, and why would they think some supernatural force ripped her apart? Yeah, they yeah. would. Yeah. So. But guys, before we jump in, we just want to let you know that you can watch the full-length version of this episode on Patreon, and you can see early access for select shows. Other than that, uh, like you said before the reaction, this is I love the show, and this has been a great season so far. So we're going to jump in. I'm sorry. I, I guess I'm having trouble understanding any of this. I mean, what exactly is going on in Hawkins? What's doing these killings? That's what we're trying to ascertain. Where is Elle? Agents Harmon and Wallace here will stay with you. We're not the ones in danger. Our friends live in Hawkins. My family lives in Hawkins. And I'll work to contain the situation until Eleven is ready. In the meantime, is a... So what, we're just supposed to trust that you're the good guys? Whoever you are? We're friends of Owens. Eleven trusted us. Now we're asking the same from you. <laughs> That's a great opening. I have to say. It was like she was in a trance or something. Exactly what Eddie said happened to Chrissy. Bad things from their past. Seeking out traumatized people. Yeah. It's kind of like the ring. Like you're marked. Sinclair. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Like, finally. Yeah. Brooker. You're in terrible danger. All right. Yeah, that, that definitely sucks. But we've got bigger problems than Jason right now. Very now, I wouldn't put it past this show, but I hope Max doesn't die. I know I didn't like her at first, but I like her now. I've accepted her into the group. That's... I think she's integral to the group now. Yeah. I mean, it adds a dynamic to it that wasn't there before. It used to be it was just a bunch of boys. I'm sorry. Uh, well, you're the little sister who plays Dungeons and Dragons, huh? What's it to you? Do you know? I think she's being a little rude. I don't care. He's he's a fucking. He is literally yeah. lying to her. Uh, okay, be honest. Uh, do you guys understand any of this? No. Pretty straightforward. Oh, uh, straightforward, really. But what's confusing? Only to return thirty years later and start killing some random teens? No, I don't buy it. Straightforward, my ass. You know what, honestly, Henderson, a little humility every now and then, it wouldn't hurt you. I think he's got a good point. But he's, he's, I think he's going to be right, though. Yeah. Especially after well, he's The saying. idea is that this is off the wall shit that none of us understand. Yeah. You got to follow whatever goddamn leads you have. Speak with Victor Creel for a thesis work co writing on paranoid schizophrenic, to which they said no. But we landed at three o'clock with the director. Now all we have to do is charm him and convince him to let us talk to Victor. And then maybe we can. Wait, 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 wait a second. Uh, where's mine? Oh, did you? <laughs> Can you please not touch anything? I, I just, I, I can't do anything. That, like him, we are true academic scholars. Holy shit! There's a little ballerina in here. I feel like Steve might die eventually. Academic yeah, that'd be a big ending. Yeah. But for what is essentially a ransom exchange. For that, for that, I think you very much need to be on time. They're meeting you any soon. All goes well. But tomorrow night you're home. Meeting answers with your sexy woman. She's not my home. <laughs> you don't even seem nervous in America, and at last. You're a cool cat. Like Steve McQueen, the cooler king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? 
Where do you want it? It's not my face. Of course not. Must be pretty for your woman. He's not my woman. <laughs> Sick cocksucker. How does this house arrest work? You're not under arrest. Right. No, no, you're you're here to protect us. Forget about him and Nancy. Yeah. Sucks. Especially the beginning of the series kind of they're confessing their love for each other. But... If people can't get a hold of us, they're gonna totally freak out. Meanwhile, my mom's probably having a panic attack already. And then what about Hawkins? That lady's just supposed it's to... It's not gonna change, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Then you crumble it up! And if I would've said that thing, then maybe she'd want me there with her. Wherever she is. Look, Mike. I think that note is a good thing that she wrote that. You wrote it to him. Yeah. You don't trust Owens? No. I don't know. I mean... He's been good to us and good to Al, but he wasn't able to protect me. That was you guys who saved me. That was you guys. <laughs> We're hungry. Damn what, damn it? Take a long time for that to go away. Oh boy. I could eat. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what guys, that's what guys do, you know? I know you guys are staring at me. Well, that, well sorry. Huh? You said you needed something? Just hanging out. How you think your eyes boring into the back of my head is protecting me from Vecna? I don't know. I'm sorry, what is this? It's, um... It's a fail-safe. For after. You know, if things, if they, if they don't work out. Wait, no, Max. Seriously. Seriously, I'm not joking, okay? I'm not driving you anywhere. Steve, if you think that I'm going to spend what is likely the last day of my life in the armpit that is Mike Wheeler's basement, then you're out of your mind. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fuck. I can't believe I wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> 3.9 GPAs. Both of you. Impressive. And this is... But there is a protocol to visiting a patient like Victor. You have to put in a request. And then you have to undergo a screening process, at which point the board will make a decision. And coming here was our last ditch effort to save our thesis. And I really, I can't breathe in this thing. Uh, well, Rose, maybe you'd like to go outside and get some air. Maybe I should, Ruth, mm -hmm. because I'm starting to think this whole thing is a colossal mistake. I'm breaking out in a rash. My boobs hurt. And I'll tell you the truth, Anthony. May I call you Anthony? These aren't actually my clothes. If I might get the chance to speak to the man that ignited my passion and learn a little bit more about how his twisted, but let's face it, totally fascinating mind works. So, yes. Ten minutes with Victor. That's all I ask. <laughs> I'm back in 30. Mm -hmm. He sounded like a guy who really liked to turn people down. Yeah. And, uh, you know, man, it's just my own prejudices, you know, reading into that. But then you, you failed. You failed. Whose fault was that? Yeah. Me. If things go sideways, I should mention I'm now a black belt in karate. I'm sorry. I don't know how to tell you this, but you are a day late. What? You see, damage to this house. <laughs> so the Russian humor. I got you good. I'm Yuri. Murray. 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 You two seem very nice, very trustworthy people, but so did my brother. <laughs> the fuck he stole my wife! Hands up! 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 God damn this nosy fuck. Enzo's gonna help. Not Enzo, but the other guy. Yeah, I hope so. It's gonna be cool if he wrote himself out. Uh, he's Mount rushing Nourish. so hard. Mount Nourish, though. 
Yeah, these questions are hard men. They're up there in a the cold. I know. Mr. Detective is fucking this pretty tough. Yeah, there you go. Get the gun. Go, uh... oh, George! <laughs> Oh shit! Is he barefoot? Yeah. He's not the last. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what are you gonna buy yourself? Some letters inside for you and, and granny and uncle jack and dad i just um i started to think what if something happens to me max nothing we don't deserve I keep seeing slave ones now we we'll talk about them earlier your time is almost at an end That's a hell of a thing if the mother's never there. You, I start questioning yeah. every reality, you know what I mean? Remember one of, one of the jocks started having a nosebleed too. Oh, Brantley, she, she didn't pay. Brantley, didn't I say? Brantley, what did I say? Sorry, <laughs> didn't she say? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I guess I'm just nervous. Yes, why not? We've got more rebellious mood. <laughs> We've got more rebellious mood too, Zach. I need to check on Probably call in on him. Oh, you think so? She was legit. Must be one of his moves. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> you the need to watch the Prison the Break. Brad, Brad, uh, Belchick. Yeah. He's such a prick of a guard. I've seen an asshole before and other things. It's Hawkins. It's not the same without you. And I feel like maybe I was worrying too much about Elle. And I don't know, maybe I feel like I lost you or something. Does that make sense? If he wants more. Yeah. I have no idea what's going to happen next. You can give him what he wants. Hello there. Jesus! What the hell is that? Get the fuck out of the house! Shit got hot real quick. Fucking shit, get the fuck out. This guy's a fucking hard ass living this long. There he is. God damn. Oh, Jesus, dude. I think that was like one shot. It was really good. Yeah. He would have followed his What the hell's going on? <laughs> That was almost as intense as seeing a Rogue One. That was good. That yeah. was really good. You know, if you've died and I didn't have to escort anybody, I'd definitely get the money back, I feel like. I don't like him. <laughs> it's like, you know, negative 30 degrees up in this bitch. We know that cold, yeah. but... Well, I mean, Siberia has the coldest temperatures on Earth. A certain area. Yeah, well, there's this population that lives in Siberia, the kids. And they have to wear masks and shit and yeah. just walk into school. All of our American products, and then I saw some camel cigarettes, which are actually, you know, Turkish blend or what have you. But yeah, Americans probably make them. I'm just looking for some goddamn socks. <laughs> I'm eating that shit up. <laughs> yeah, Joe's <laughs> <coughs> already been in that motherfucker. No, that's what I'm saying. The, the seal was broke. You've been for a year, dude. You write a book about your life and be set for life if you're in a ghoul, Russian gulag for a year. Fuck yeah, you would. I love it. I'm not seeing you sometimes right now. Well, it's because they didn't transcribe. I get it. Jesus. 
<laughs> He's gonna fuck him over, it seems like. <laughs> fucking asshole. Yuri's the fucking prick. God. Do something in the coffee. How the hell are they gonna get out of this? I have no Good idea. Time he didn't drink any of the coffee and save the day. That would be great, but how, how's Hopper and Enzo gonna get out of it? You might be right. Victor, I know this is hard. You don't know anything! You're right. No, I assure you, I am still very much in hell. This is nice. Yeah. It was, yeah, a magnificent home. Dead animals, mutilated, tortured, begin to appear near our home. Rats, squirrels. Nightmares, waking, living nightmares. So far, I like that it, it feels like this is some, a threat that's much subtler. Hiding, nesting, somewhere within the shadows of our home. It's a curse of our town. To find myself. They keep showing spiders. Does that thing have eight legs still? That's just the thing that I was back, remember? Yeah, yeah. Because it's supposed to be. Jesus. Ah. While I was away. That's a terrible thing to think about. I just had a very interesting conversation with <laughs> Professor Frank. Perhaps we should discuss in my office. While we wait for the police. Dear Billy, I don't know if you can even hear this. Yeah, no, he's pretty young. Two years ago, I... So I wonder if letting that go would. No, apparently not. I think that there's an amount of self pity involved, but not in a bad way. I don't know if that's the way to put it right now, but. Yeah. It attracts that guy. Alright, let's go on. Steve, give her some time. I have. All right, Sinclair? I'm calling it. If she wants to get a lawyer, she can. Max. Max. Max! Max, are you hide from the wound? No! And why, late at night, you have sometimes wished to follow me? Follow me. Don't fall. Fight for you to join me. Oh, my God, my God. Yeah. Patch said that the music can reach parts of the brain that words can't. So maybe that's the key. A lifeline. A lifeline back to reality. It's worth a shot. You got your shoes! Don't <laughs> 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 You cannot hide from me. It just, just happened to Obi Wan Kenobi. Fucking god, one guy's a gimp and the other one's fat. There's no fucking way. Yeah. There ain't no way those guys are stopping that way. Yeah. I like tights. Slide mites. Slide mites. Slide mites um, are on the ground. Tights are on the ceiling. Her favorite song. <laughs> Explains why they get all contorted. Yeah. Catch her. She falls. <laughs> yeah, 
Man, you could be the fucking man if you catch her like that. Get it up, bastard! Run, dude. I'd definitely give the bird. You really? fucking kidding me. Uh -oh. You didn't catch him though. That's wrong. Your knee be fucking you be, you break something. Oh shit. <laughs> what a great sequence though. It was really good. The music and everything. And the memories. Really well. It's good shit. Guys, that was a reaction full length. See you back at the YouTube channel. That was a reaction, this is our discussion. It was really, really enjoyable. I mean, I didn't take a lot of notes. I was pretty engrossed. Yeah. Um, but it's a pure reaction episode almost. It was. I mean, the ending leaves you so much to talk about. I, there's really, it kind of overshadows everything that happened before it. I mean, you had, I took down. Um, I mean, the Russia stuff seems like a different episode. It does. It Doesn't was, it? You had Vecna and the clock, and it's recurring, <clears throat> which might be, we talked about it before. Where it's like a some kind of visage. Would have you yeah. an embodiment of the ticking clock? It made me think of it and Stephen King's it. How it's oh, 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 uh, so many years, like twenty six years, he comes back or something. Yeah, it's a cycle. Yeah, I don't really feel like Ruby's gonna fall wrong for Nancy. Like I think it's probably more likely they'll just become friends. Robin, Robin, yeah. Why not at Ruby? Oh, I've been watching Ash vs Evil Dead lately. There you go. <laughs> There's a character named Ruby in that. Sorry. Okay. Uh, it was Robin. Yeah. But, no, no, I, I agree. I, I think Nancy, uh, you know, I, I think her and Steve, I think they're leaving some strings there to say, well, they won't they? I mean, her and, um, shoot, Weber's name. They've been away Jonathan. for, yeah, they've been away for a year. Oh, and that's a damn shame, too. Yeah, I, I like Jonathan. I mean, I like them both. I mean, I want them to be happy. Now, Steve really fucked up in the first season, though, and I think, but, you know, I think people deserve second chances. It's been four years, you know. Well, it seemed like they've been more in the same playing field yeah. than Jonathan. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I admittedly, think, yeah, it's the truth. Yeah, I, I think that's a trap at the beginning, someone different. But then you know, you always kind of fall in with your and people. There's a reality. Yeah, you fall in with your people most of the time. Um, all the time. Most of the time. All the time. <laughs> well, I know people who don't, and they get divorced. I know people. Who there fall, you go. That's, that, I know. What people, do you think I would bring it up? <laughs> I know people who fall in with their people when they get divorced. That one wasn't my people. I I, I think it's if they, pretty they, evident. They, well, no, because I'm like below that. Not an idealism, but I'm, in, I'm talking in about like, like the same type of kind of you know type of personality, you know, below, quiet. Below. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I guess before we get on the show in the end, the, the stuff in Russia was great. It know? was. It was. Yuri, it was, piece of shit. Yeah, Yuri's a freaking asshole. He betrayed my man Enzo. I know. Jack and Hagar is a great man. Just wants to help people. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> he saw probably at that point he probably is going to have a come to Jesus moment. Yeah. Where Yuri's done this some shitty shit, and obviously he could have been equated with Yuri at one time. Yeah. But now he's like, no, I want to see something good. I want yeah. to see something succeed. Maybe Enzo uh, will defect. He has some things. Join the Americans. That'd be cool to see, yeah. especially with that actor being in here. Yeah. Um, self pity with Vecna, like uh, the guilt. Well, I could. It's tell obviously a big play. Yeah. In Vecna's game. I could tell you when I was a teenager, I would have been the first one killed because <laughs> that reminds me of myself for sure. Oh yeah. The self. I used to write in journals all the sad shit. You know, it's kind of embarrassing now. I might get that. Yeah, it was deep. You know, the key to being miserable, though, Shane, right? Is to make sure you're always miserable. And then nothing's ever... Like the Hulk, I'm always miserable. Yeah, exactly. Except then you just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> just start drinking. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I certainly get that. I think when you're a teenager, you have a lot of reasons and, and not a lot of experience to, to feel that way. Uh, Max, in this case, she has a lot of real, real reasons to be miserable. Yeah, she has a lot of traumatic events that have occurred yeah. in her life. And, you know, and of course she's young, so she's probably going to see it as maybe her fault and what she could have done differently and mm -hmm. have a lot of self-blame. And uh, it, it's a, it was a win getting that actor back. He was a dickhead in the show, but I really love his, I, I love his finish. And I like that actor. Jason. Yeah. But yeah, it, it was just really effective. Her being that alternate, that different dimension or that representation of a different dimension where her mind goes there. It was pretty scary. It was. Yeah. I mean, the way that ended was very, very powerful. For sure. Yeah. I really thought she might die. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. Because they was very on edge. We both thought, like, it's going to, really, you're going to make us wait the next episode? I yeah, was like, I know. Well, <laughs> and the way television has treated us these days. Yeah. Um, not just television, but 
you know, streaming services and yeah. that shit. The way they treat you anymore, they make you feel like they're going to give you all this hope. And they are definitely, definitely, definitely going to take it away. Well, the advantages to that is you can watch the next episode right away, but that's what they want. I know. Yeah. But... Well, unfortunately, unfortunately for us, we, 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 don't, we don't binge it all in one day. So we will wait. Um, but this is, I think, why I love doing this type of thing with you. Or, you know, it's just it's watching stuff like this and feeling it. It's just a great show, dude. It's it just, you know, I, I applaud this show. I, I've, I've liked it for a long time. You know, I like I, I really like everything we do, but I, I really like this show. No, I was glad that it came back. I'm yeah. glad the season is so well done. Yeah. I have no complaints about it. Wouldn't you be questioning the hell out of reality after the incident that happened with her mom? Well, yeah. Because after that, I wasn't sure. I wasn't, right I wasn't now, sure. Question all reality. So, <laughs> well, I wouldn't. Weed eaters, uh, weed eaters, man. <laughs> See, I wouldn't even be sure if I was still in the Matrix after that fucking bullshit. Well, the weed eaters is like, what's happening? <laughs> were, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. they, were they always there? I was like, you're talking. Were they, were they not there? <laughs> well, you know what's interesting is like, when I knocked on the door the other day, I swear to God, I heard weed eaters over the front of your hill. Yeah. I think there's some weed eater fucking ghost. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> Maybe they're taking the weed eaters in the woods. There's a pro- weed eater devil out there. <laughs> Maybe so, but if all they're doing is messing with the weed eaters, I don't care. But that was yeah. That made me think that day, like yeah, I am losing my shit. <laughs> but we we should also talk about the scene with Will, Mike, and Jonathan. That well, Jonathan scene didn't come until later. Yeah, but I thought oh, you, you mean the shootout? Thing. Okay, all right, never mind. I uh, thought you like you're talking about the Mike where he's actually like saying, the, "Dude, like, I haven't been there." We have a little bit of tension. Well, yeah, with this tension, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, and obviously Will. Is feeling things that Mike is not feeling. Yeah. So that's how it made me feel like, well, I fucking, I fucking hope Robin isn't feeling that way too. It's like it's bouncing yeah. back and forth. It's like you just, you I, think, I think Robin is old enough to know, like Nancy is not like that maybe. Yeah. And and Jonathan. But or, Will and or Mike. Will, yeah, I'm sorry. Will, you know, he's young and. And it's his best friend. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. It's a mess. Um, but I will say, yeah, that, that is some crazy stuff. And I'm sure it's going to give us answers. Like I'm sure we'll have that character officially, officially come out. Uh, which you know you don't want him living a lie that'd, that'd be terrible i also that shootout scene was great and, it was it was fantastic and, and it was guys but i thought it was very 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 you killed the black guy for, level stereotypical yeah. that the black you the guy black died guy. first you killed the black guy first <laughs> it was it was just i didn't think about it when it first happened because all of a sudden it just started happening but when the white guy with the mustache all the, of a sudden the was a badass one. the fatter ba- then all of a sudden was a badass yeah it's like, come on now. Yeah, it's like, what? Who wrote this? <laughs> I mean, are you just, are you writing it like it's the old like eighties film? Like it came out. Well, that 80s. shit, that shit actually occurred all the time in film. I still think that gimp would be way faster than that fat guy. That just me. Well, the way it just they, they, it's like they had to show them both as these completely debilitated men. Yeah, one is so fat. Well, that's the only old, way they get out of there. And you one have is two such grown a gimp. men trying to catch. I know, but young women. You know, I don't know. Like they're obviously not displayed as athletes. Yeah, they're not. So they're not Scandinavian women, they're not sprinters women. like the sheriff is talking about. Any fucking sprinter, a sprinter in a goddamn college. Yeah, it's a girl. It's probably going to outrun most middle-aged men. Probably. Okay. For sure. Yeah. So and these guys are like one of them is probably beyond middle-aged. But, yeah. So they're going to outrun them if they showed some level of athleticism, but they didn't. Yeah. So I get why they showed them gimped up, but yeah. I just feel like. Like there's, the way they showed those men, they were so debilitated. But there's no way they'd even make it to the fucking car before the car took off. How do they pass that test every year? So I want to know. <laughs> yeah, the one was like just such a gimp. Yeah. He was like, like he was really hurtling <laughs> there. Okay. Yeah. And the other guy, there's just no way his goddamn arteries would keep up, and he would probably be. No, you need a heart attack. He'd be panting out. Popping aspirin. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. So real quick, uh, are you? I mean, you're a lot older than your siblings, but the idea of being friends with your siblings. I'm, I'm much younger than mine. So we're, I'm actually. It's funny because I'm actually pretty close i'm well pretty close but i'm a lot closer with my youngest sibling than i am my middle one okay, okay. but there's only two years difference between them yeah but i'm 15 years older than this guy that's really and, weird and i'm actually closer to him because oh. i think we're i think the two of us are much more like our own dad okay all right and it's kind of like yeah well we would joke around about like our dad and yeah piss around and the other one's more like our mom and it's, okay it's I, uh, hard to relate I am. Uh, my brother and sister are much older than me, but I, as I've gotten older, we we've, we've gotten closer. But my sister kind of took care of me when I was younger, yeah. so we, we it was a different type of closeness. Yeah. She's like the one who kind of helped raise me. But now that we're older, 
you know, my brother and I, as we got older, I feel like we weren't close at all when I was younger. I used to kind of look up to him because he's just my brother. Mm. As we've gotten older, you know, we have more things to talk about because we're older. Yeah. But yeah, I get that, her her desire to have been close to her brother. Well, also, it was an actual brother. Yeah. So she may have been alone for a long time. Yeah. And then finally she had a stepbrother and she probably felt like there was somebody she could be close to. Yeah. But they didn't have those moments until the very end. Yeah. And yeah. where obviously the shell, you know, broke down the hard exterior, mm-hmm. and he actually showed some compassion for her. Yeah, and we, and we, so we, some like, people forget like, that kind of like everything that she could have had. Yeah, as, but she didn't see it until it was too late. And some people forget that he was actually possessed since like the end of the first episode or something. Yeah, but he was. I mean, he was definitely an asshole before that. Whenever they first brought him in, yeah. he was a complete fucking dick. He was a in dick. The second season, he definitely was a dick. Yeah. He's always been a dick, but you know, I th- I think. Like I, I think for me, the shining examples of him being terrible are, are when he's after he's possessed. Well, after he's possessed, it's kind of like he starts to see that okay, these things are horrible, and he should probably appreciate the things that are good. Yeah. So it really puts things in perspective for him because he never was possessed; he'd still be a dick. He'd still be a dick, but he'd be a lot. But he'd be a living yeah. dick, but he'd still yeah. be a dick. So I always feel like dicks eventually become nice people. Not yeah. always. Not always. You're, you're exactly right, um, guys. Before we jump out of here, we just want to let you know you can watch a full length version of this. Uh, at our Patreon at patreon.com slash third street. If you're adverse to Patreon, you can click that thanks button below the video. It's a great way to help us out. And you know what? I'm going to check Twitter. So it's going to be a graphic right now. Hashtag stranger things. And uh, we'll check it out. And if there's anything on there, like theories or questions, we'll answer them in the next video. Bye-bye. Guys, thank you so much for watching our reaction. I just gave this whole spiel on Patreon and Twitter. So I'm not going to say it again, but we appreciate you. We are, uh, yeah, we're doing better. It's good. It's a good feeling. We got we got microphones. There you go. That's it. I usually have something clever. I don't. <laughs> That's it. Right. I could talk about that forever, but.